Right, you you are agreeing to it, so right. you don't want to go there. So nope. anyway, continue. Thank you for that. Um, another point is that uh, Rob brings us up in in one of his uh, in that the court exposed, and it basically says when a when a judge takes over, he basically has judicial uh, discretion to do anything he wants. And he doesn't have to follow the rules. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, it's a big quote that he uses. Uh, it was a case. So we're denying him his judicial function. We are moving the judge into the position of a magistrate and an administrative clerk. He works for us now because we accepted his oath and bond. It's really clever. I, lo- I love it. and I-, I love it. And I think this is the... Again, um, as you know, many, many people still have great difficulty in conceptualizing this idea of three layers of law. Oh, the yeah. Ecclesias- yeah. The ecclesiastical base or the foundation of law, then the trust law, and then the statute law kind of being the icing or the superficial. And they have great difficulty. But I think, again, what you're describing is um, what what they want their judges to have is the maximum flexibility to duck in and out between these things, to duck between the public and the private, between the trust and the statute, to hide the trust, which basically means as an executor of a trust, they have full discretion on how they deal with the res. Yeah? Yep. And that's so, what they're doing. So. Yeah, they want us to go in there as, as one of their slaves without... Any rights, all we have is maybe a, a few privileges that they give us. And that's about it. Mm-hmm. And, you, and you see that all day long, every day. That's what they're doing to us. Mm-hmm. So this kind of uh, flips them on their head and makes them think about their position. So I think, what, I think one other thing just to raise, Ron, and, and then if you've got anything else, chuck it in, otherwise we'll, we'll keep going, but... The other thing I just think it's always worth remembering here is that if the court had anything to do with law, then fine, things would be different. But a court is there to make money. A court exists to make money from your misery. That's its job. It has nothing to do with victims. It has nothing to do with injury it is merely a money-making sausage machine, and that is at its root. The word courtio meant literally in Latin to bond, bailment, and securities. That's the original meaning of the guild. So because of that, their weakest point is denying them the perfection of financial instruments. If you want to stop a court against you, deny the court's ability to perfect what it's supposed to do, which is to make money. If you stop them making money, they move on because that's what they're supposed to do. If they can't make money from you, they're not interested in you. That's true. So hopefully we'll stop them. Well, good. We should because what a perverse system that takes law and commercializes it for profit when really law is supposed to be about law and, and remedy. So it's it's got to stop. It's 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 been going for more than 700 years, and it's a perversion that's got to stop. Mm-hmm. I agree. Good on you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Terry. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay, we have another caller here, Frank, from uh, up East, East Pennsylvania. Are you there with us, East Pennsylvania? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hey. Hey, I'm um, getting back. I'm sorry. I got, my my line got kicked. I got kicked offline for a couple minutes here. I'm going to get back to the guy with the 900 years. Think it over. All you have to do is go into your deepest deepest thoughts. Keep yourself from being angry. You can find all the answers. Every answer and every question is inside your own mind. All you have to do is not not you know don't sweat the petty, pet the sweaty. <laughs> How you going, Ray? <laughs> did you get my notes? Yes, I did. And, and yes, um, 
I actually already have the uh, Lenape version, okay? Of it's only of of uh, this this lifetime. Yeah. Of this of this world. But yes, I got the notes. Um, I had I had a gentleman which is listening online right now, probably Dan, which has contacted me with uh, a couple gentlemen up 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 in. Um, up in New York, and I, and I contacted them. Um, I, I would like to pass on. I'm going to pass on what Ron sent me, and go that way. Right. Okay. Instead, instead of bringing them on onto the onto the talk show right off the bat, so they get up to grade first. Yep. Okay. Because they're 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 already they're already controversial. Okay. With it within their own nation. So um, long story, but. There's been some injustice done to their family, by the way, of the uh, BIA Indians is what we call them. Mm. And um, he was a traditionalist. They need a little bit more, you know, honing in to become a traditionalist, but they're learning. Good. But um, I've also I've I've um, I have a woman which is Cree, which has taken and the idea also and I've and I'm gonna pass on to her what you sent me and um have her work on the Creed version of it. But I already have the one locked down. And I, I'm trying to see how complete we have it what we recorded it before. It was a ceremony we've been doing at Winter Solstice for years. Mm. Okay, but it's not it's not my people. It's the people which we're very close to the Lenape, but we're we're not, you know, they're not the same people as us. But that's their history. Well, for so, the benefit of talk, for the benefit of talk show, Ray, could you just quickly for a moment just let people know what we're talking, so they get a context what we're actually talking about, so they know what we're, okay. we're actually saying. Basically, what we're going to do is go back on the ceremonies, and um, of of all the ancient, and what, what the ceremonies are going to contain is basically. Where your family comes in in the five worlds, we're coming up to the fifth world now, and, and it is complete as we can get from each nation, from each, each indigenous nation, and all people come from indigenous nations, not just the American Indian, not just not just the Africans, and not just the uh, indigenous of uh, of um, Australia and New Zealand. Everybody's indigenous to something. Okay, and all they have to do is reach back and find. In everybody's in everybody's memory is the truth. You just have to learn. The one thing that Christians did was the way that they were able to take away your memory is by burying. Hmm. Okay, if, if you learn if you learn to dispose of your body by fire, and inside your mind try to each when you, when you know because you know when your time's coming. You actually will see you have a decision. So even you know even when you're even when your say your head gets blown off, you still have time afterwards because you you have you're something which is not of this body. This body is just something we're using. Mm. Yeah, you know, we could you, you man did not start off as man. Man started off as another form and eventually became man by way of. The Anunnaki, but that's okay because I, I'm actually enjoying this body. It's pretty good fun, you know. <laughs> so it's so it's it's about it's about restoring the spirit to the land and reconnecting us to this exactly this plane. Yeah, yes. yeah. So yeah, that's by great. way, we'll by way of showing the past. Yeah, well, I think this is the thing of the reconnecting. So there's more. There's more to send to you. Let you just to let you know. I was very excited the other day. I got an email from a fellow who is connected to a, a fluent Gaelic speaker, and she has started is going to start translating Book of the Green Race. So that's something from a Gaelic sense. And in Australia, uh, the um, the various tribes are starting to look to connect together uh, for what. For, for their um, staying to help themselves in their beliefs, so it's a very exciting time, Ray. It's it seems to be 
something that is spreading and people are very open to it. So good on you for what you're doing. The hilarious part is is that the people from um, New Zealand are the same people which we call Lenape here. Same exact people. Yeah. They they're like they can actually understand each other. <laughs> and this this is this is part of the history from here because they don't speak of before they got to the lands here, but they've been here since the last creation. Yeah. So they've been they've been here the entire time. And it would be nice to send it to the people from New Zealand for them to complete you know, and put the other parts to them. So Well I think I think there's going to be, as you, as I'm sure you're aware, there's going to be an overlap in the sense that the five worlds is something that unites many, many, and then there is um, different different songs and different approaches. Maybe not a lot, but but which unite different groups that might unite the African nations, that might unite the indigenous of Australia, that might unite the the uh, Celts. So. I think what whatever you'll find out that the Celts actually and our legends speak of a people which left us and went east. Mm. Since we're at the Atlantic Ocean, there's only one place to go east, <laughs> and that's Europe. Yep. So and what? and, and we, we kept trade with them for uh, a while, and then apparently 2000. Well, actually. The Welsh were still traveling here until the year 900. Yeah. So, um, along with some Scots. Well, this is still- this is the history that, uh, Ray. This is the history that we need to reclaim. It, uh-huh. It's not, a, my, as you know, I've said this to you, and, and because we've got to get through a lot of questions, I don't want to. Uh, it's a really important subject, Ray. And what you're doing is absolutely brilliant. You're cr- crucial in this. As as are others who are helping, is that it's not it's not for me to intervene in the process. The process is what's important, not the end result, as right. you and I have discussed. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. What I'm going to do is probably just do this world in the ceremony because that will take at least three days. Yep. Okay. Just this world. Yeah. Not you know, and we we have we have a world and a half well world and we come in two worlds ago. Mm. So mm. this will be our third world. So but prior to that, the creation story of this planet we don't have. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well Ray? The, Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, but the animal stories we do have. Okay, let me yes. let you go. Mona. Right. Right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. For the benefit of everyone listening and uh, may not have heard the story earlier on, could you let everyone know when where you mean when you say here? Oh, I'm in Pennsylvania. I am Anandasti, and we come and the Anandasti and other peoples of of Iroquoian and Cherokee background, Huron and Erie, and m- many many more Mingos and. We all come from an island which sank in the middle of the Atlantic. Is a story, but we come, we come, from, we we come from uh, the, the belt of Orion originally. That's that's where we originate from. Then we come here. Very interesting. But all people, all people, were brought here, either brought here, or came here. The people, Lemurians, which are the people in Australia. The indigenous people of Australia, which become the Polynesians, are the Lemurians. So um, they they come they come from Orion's Belt, but a different place in Orion's Belt. We knew who they were, and they they come from a great society too. They come they come fifty thousand years before us, though, to this place. But at that, let me let you go before you put me in a rubber room. <laughs> thank you. Ray. I'd never do that. Ray. I'd never do that. But thank you for, thank you for all that you're doing. And I mean, it is exciting. As I've said to, I said to uh, a meeting that I had an honor, uh, an honor to meet uh, Australian um, original uh, elders. Yeah. That the speaking and the singing 
that brings us 